Welcome back to 4 Geeks by Geeks, the place where geeks come to geek out. As always, I am Bozer, and this is your Monday Night Geek Out Sesh. Welcome, pew, 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 pew. And of course, I am not alone. I am joined by my bosom brother, the fruit of my loins. I would take a rib and give it to him so that he too could be created in our God's image. It's T! This just got weirdly spiritual, and I'm not here for that energy. <laughs> I, I don't this know. This went to a very weird place. You know what? We're just vibing and talking about our depression, like Alex said. Correct. Correct. I do think our conversations with ourselves, with others, is a good representation of what of us sharing one mind would look like. Woo! We got DJF starting it off with the What's rain. up, buddy? DJ. 32 was- months. 32 months? Jesus, fuck! Hot dog! What's up, That's dude? That's wild. How was your stream? That, that, but that answers our question. 32 months. You gotta have ass to twerk. What do you, why are you embarrassing this man on the internet? <laughs> also, clip that for me. That was a, a lower back spasm. That's what happens <laughs> when you turn 30. Just get up and show it off if you get one. That's gonna be our reel that pops off. It's calling it now. Perfect. My flat ass shaking. Exactly. The Correct. Well, T, thanks for joining us. I Always. Mean, you say thanks for, I say thanks for joining as if you haven't run like the last few by yourself without me. No, just well, two. I'm, I'm honored to join you. Thank you for letting me. <laughs> keep this special. I mean, let's be honest. We're really honored for who's actually here for today because like our announcement said, uh, the internet lets us do cool things. Like stupid people get to do things with cool people that should not be hanging out with us. It's it's the only reason that I'm here at all. I've Correct. Offer except for the stories later, I guess. And back spasms. And back spasms. So I how give you props, Alec. That is one of your better clip titles. Your dad comes to your what? Your sweet 16. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's pretty good, Alec. Proud of you. Proud of you. Well, we got Alec in the chat as always. We got DJ here. Pop off if you're here in the chat and hang out and out with us. Um, and also, I want to know the QOTD, which in honor of our guest tonight, which animal do you hate and why? Do you have an animal that you hate, T? There's only one acceptable answer here. What's that? And it's snakes. Snakes? Yes, they're slivers of Satan's souls and need to be eradicated from this planet. They're slithers of Satan's souls, you mean? Correct. (laughs) You understand how far... There is a literal island on this planet so inhabited by deadly snakes, it is illegal for people to be on this island because you are never within less than five feet of being brutally murdered... Because these little fucking assholes are like, nah, bitch, this is my land. Really? Where yeah, is it? Off the coast of Australia. Oh, that tracks. They're called Snake Island. <laughs> and there's never been a movie about this? Oh, I'm sure there has. Well, I there's seen no it. way it hasn't. It was Samuel L. Jackson, it hasn't. Hold on, let me find it real quick. Snake. Yeah, Snakes are too bad, but that's because I don't live within five feet of the most. Sorry, it's off the coast of Brazil. Oh, that also tracks, I guess. It's called Ila de Guamadala Grande. It's known as Snake Island. What does that mean in English? Anybody know? It means get the fuck out of here. It's the only (laughs) thing that matters. Island. (laughs) DJ says snakes are the only animal I'm scared of catching me off guard. Do you know how strong uh, fucking pythons are? They can crush your bones. 50 pounds per square inch. So if one of them bitches chokes you, there's no getting out of that. You are, there's, you're not strong enough. So was, unless you have an ax to cut off that little bitch's head, that you, that's just it. And it's not a quick death. Oh, it's going to be painful. You're suffering every, every that whole time. fucking time. Oh my God. There is this hilarious, like fake news segment, but it feels super real. <laughs> and it's about how a mom left her like three-year-old son home with their python to babysit. And she just ran to the store real quick. <laughs> and, and, and the guy's like, you know what? They, they you always think that it, it could never happen to you with a 32-foot python. <laughs> 
I thought you were setting up like a Hercules joke. <laughs> no, it was real. <laughs> no, it's a fake story, but if oh, no, I, is it a fake story though? It, yeah, it's fake. It's I'm praying it's fake. If it's real, then in this society, then then we're doomed. <laughs> um, but the, I guess the one animal that I hated is this little bitch cat that I had growing up. His name was Jake. You rescued him off the well, street. First off, you named him Jake. Yeah, he was a Jake. He saved. We saved his life, and that cat didn't appreciate shit. <laughs> and it wouldn't let you pet him. It scratched you to pieces anytime you tried. It wasn't cuddly. It had no love in its soul. <laughs> None. Well, duh. He went out surviving on the streets too long. Yeah, he. It made him very hard. Um, some other announcements life. before we get into tonight's Geek Out Sesh with our guest. Uh, this is your final days to get some of that community t-shirt designs. The ones that didn't quite make the grade, like our guest tonight. But we still are selling them in the merch store in case you want to grab your design or you want to grab someone else's great design. I got to figure out what up. fucking size to buy is the problem. I don't know. I is have sizes like sitting in my cart and I'm like, mm. Do I risk it again? <laughs> Alec, how would you know if anybody didn't be buy yours or not? Um, you don't get the reports, do you? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Are you also logged into our Streamlabs? I wouldn't be shocked at this point. But there's some really, like, they're all really great. And my favorite thing is they all came from the community, by the community. FCBC. Exactly. And. Okay, yes, you, you were right. right. Huh? And we're going to make it an annual thing. Um, those in there are going to... You're uh, right, Alec. The password is not a good password. I've never hated a password more in my fucking life. Oh, that's why I just do password one, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> Decrypt that, hackers. Um, but, T, I don't know. I'm curious. I'm, I'm wanting to get to talk to the guy that created the winning community t-shirt design samesies because i got questions might have very strong opinions about a certain avian amelia and amelia what was the Anamelia. word we learned and amelia and amelia this I is think, or we're gonna make ourselves just look stupider. we know science facts and uh anyway <laughs> I don't know what you're singing right now, my man. I can't riff with you if I don't know what's going on. Animaniacs, Animaniacs. That came out. It was over by the time I was born. <laughs> um, not true. It's still on. They it made came back. Season. That doesn't count. Yes, Rob Paul. I'm pretty sure the show ended in year. like '93, so I saw like reruns of reruns growing up. Oh, it's so funny. It's the best. Oh, don't be wrong. It's good, but it's not my childhood cartoon. Not my childhood. Anyway, please give it up. I want to see some chat emojis, stuffs, good things, fires and stuffs. <laughs> give it up for our guest tonight. Birds suck. Welcome. Hello. Hello, please, everyone sit down. No, it's too much. Did you add, did you add a vest in this in the meantime? Uh, I got cold. <laughs> got a little chilly. I'm going to make it. Gonna it's a good color. Oh, wait. Let me rearrange. Let me rearrange. Okay. We're going to be over oh, here. Sure, I got to flip myself. Yep. Now we're going to flip ourselves. That way I can look, look at him. There we go. Oh, whoa. Hi, guys. Now we're looking straight. Because we respect oh. you. <laughs> Until you say stupid shit, then I'm going to do this. I'm like, nah, I do not agree Damn. with this absurdity. Nah, I kind of like the cold shoulder. That's good that you have that ability. <laughs> so I'm going to be passive aggressive. <laughs> the only thing is all of these chat things are just going to cover your great vest throughout the night so i apologize no worries. absolutely no, absolutely not offended by that great because nothing would change if you were <laughs> <laughs> birds suck how are you doing tonight thanks for joining us i'm doing well thank you very much yeah i'm very excited to, to hang out with you guys i watched a few of these uh i've been following you guys a little bit i i delved in a lot more for the community uh contest i cannot lie like i heard about you guys through dylan and through cantina mm -hmm. and all that stuff but okay. you know i was really motivated to kind of get a feeling for you guys' personalities and stuff to you know do the do the shirt which i'm terrified 
of how well you <laughs> captured our personalities in this contest because so I've never felt cooler in my fucking life, <laughs> and I don't know how to live up to a fucking piece of art. <laughs> like, I, I still can't grasp. I'm like, how the fuck am I ever supposed to be this image? No, but that's the Sorry. best part, T. You already are. No, you know. My eyes, you are. Well, thank that's you, but it's a lie because... Me. It's everything I want to be, and I'm not there yet. So now I have something to live for. There we go. Cool. I like that. Well, only because we're talking about it quickly. Let's jump a little bit. Um, let me show it. I want to. If anybody's not aware, this is what this man created, and he was the 2022 community T-shirt design winner. And for about a month, we accepted designs from our communities people that could make a shirt for themselves and that would celebrate everything that is this community. And then y'all voted on it. And so this is the one that got the most votes. This is your design bird suck. Um, tell us a little bit about what went into this. Like I'm curious about all these aspects, but then what you watched, like what you, you briefly dove into to get this image. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So first things first, I've actually joined a couple t-shirt contests in the past and i so you're always professional. well no 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 i've never <laughs> won or anything but what i I've, i'm learning from my mistakes right so like mm -hmm. this time i actually i was saying like man okay it's one thing to submit art that's like you know for for the community and for for homies and stuff but i really wanted it to be a shirt design you know so mm -hmm. i like went on like zoomies i went on a few websites and i just looked up shirts stuff that i would wear you know and i just pulled elements as far as like framing and stuff like that like kind of just picked on Damn. stuff that i i thought was cool man did his right? research <laughs> <laughs> i did i did i was sick of, I'm, I'm sick of losing t-shirt contests you know? <laughs> <laughs> came back with a vengeance yeah this is this a big one failure um and uh and honestly like uh uh like going piece by piece um, I really liked, yeah, just a few things I saw with like, with like some good framing. I thought that was cool. So I, I had a lot of fun kind of making that symmetrical design, um, mm -hmm. going around. Like it, it gives me like Greek, like, uh, what's it called? Like a stained glass, uh, yeah. Stained glass when they like break it up and it's okay. Oh, you mosaic or something. Yeah. 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 Something like that. Uh, that's yeah. what I was kind of like going for there. Um, like tarot card kind of energy. Yep. Yeah. I definitely got the tarot card energy. Um, and uh, I wanted it to be uh, uh, for geeks by geeks on one side, and then in uh, uh, kanji, kanji uh, for geeks by geeks as well. But like, there was no way that it lined up good. So it's the number four, and then otaku. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So four yeah. otaku. That's that's like the last three are the the kanji for otaku. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. 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 Yeah, so four gotcha. geeks essentially. So it's four uh -huh. geeks by geeks, and it just says four geeks. That's cool. Yeah. Hi, Cantina. Oh, well, See, look, we knew he'd show up. How are you going to come in and then immediately delete this man's message and time him out? <laughs> <laughs> deleted by moderator. What a welcome mat we put the out for you. Toxicity here, Jesus. <laughs> We're four geeks by geeks, except you. <laughs> <laughs> That tracks for all of our relationship with Dylan. Correct. We've only ever known toxicity. I was born in the toxicity. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and then just like rounding off uh, for your guys, um, like the visage of you guys. Um, it sounds really weird, but like I just kind of like I noticed, like um. You know, Bozer, you're a little more uh, boisterous. You know, you you, you, gotta, you know what I mean. You, <laughs> you, you're a little more out there. You know what I mean. That doesn't so, know me at all. Uh, so <laughs> I, I thought, like, I, first of all, I knew it had to be a fantasy, like in the realm of D and D, because that's just what I I mess with. Like, I, I like tabletop RPGs in general, but D and D is oh, the yeah. only one I know the rules to. <laughs> <laughs> so do we? You know? We just make up the rest. <laughs> so so yeah i wanted it to be uh D, D inspired so yeah like a tiefling rogue i just thought that was like fun because you know they're charisma Big based yeah. you know I, I like the idea of the um that kind of persona and then i i had a little bit harder time like i had a vision in mind but i had a harder time like figuring out what like how it worked because i i just like see you as a lot more stoic 
Um, you know, just I'll like take in, it. In, just like in like it's not like you're not like taking the piss and making jokes and stuff, but I just like see you like as a lot more of like a cooler kind of demeanor. Taking the piss. I learned that's a Canadian word. Is it really? I thought that mm -hmm. was a British thing. I, well, I heard Dylan say it too. But we're monarch, so you know, right? Is what it is. Or commonwealth. The commonwealth. That's the that's the proper uh, term. What was I saying? But yeah, no. But I, I figured uh, because you you DM right. Mm -hmm. So I figured like uh, you know the magic. You know, uh, it's a studied thing. So wizard. Uh, I felt okay. like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I like the idea of like a swords, uh, sword slinging kind of wizard. I, I wanted you in heavy armor. I just felt like, you know, the, like I said, the stoic, like sturdiness of it. But you needed to be a caster. For I sure. will be cosplaying this at some point in the future. Just know how much <laughs> this has directly impacted me. I saw this and I was like, I don't give a fuck about anything. I can get kicked off of this show at this point. And that's fine because I have the memorabilia of how cool I was seen at one point. <laughs> Nothing else matters. No, um, we when when yeah, this came sorry. through, honestly, I I thought it was a mistake. I was like, wait, <laughs> <laughs> this this isn't real. Somebody thought this was like a big deal of a kind. <laughs> like they thought they win money or something. They're going to be real disappointed when they get four bucks a month out of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this, how long did this take you to put together? I'm curious. Uh, from conception to completion, um, I think I spent probably, actually, shit, I got my shit open right now. I could tell you how many hours exactly it took. Um, it, I guarantee it's less than 12. I'm putting money on it right now. Where am I? If this guy says like 150 hours right now, no, 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 really no. chill, chill, chill. Okay. <laughs> uh, what does taking the piss actually mean, though? I'm like uh, fucking around, tongue in cheek. Uh, oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm twisting your arm or leg or whatever it is. Twisting your arm, pulling your I'm leg. Twisting your, I'm twisting your shit. I'm uh, pooping on your mouth. Um, so <laughs> it took me, uh, it took me uh, eight and a half hours. Fuck off. Damn. It took me, it took My me. last art project took me six months. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, like, I, I don't know. Like, so, like, for instance, we were talking about doing the Pictionary or whatever, right? Like, yeah. when it just comes to a sketch, like, my sketch is going to look probably just as shitty as the next guy's. You know what I mean? It's just, like, all of the tricks and tools that you learn. Mm, we we did a practice. Oh, <laughs> we, that's I know that's not true. Idea. So how was this like your first idea and it just worked out well? Or did you have others before settling on this? Um, it was like, it was, okay. So it was my first attempt. Yeah. Um, but I like I'm fucking and out this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I like, I, 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 I hum and hawed about like, like color palettes. Like, like I could probably send you guys a whole bunch of different like versions that I like came with, like different gradient maps and, you know tones and stuff uh, and i ended up just like you know because it's a shirt you know like i didn't know how many colors was allowed or anything none of that was stated so i just said screw it i'm gonna send the original with all of the colors all the mm -hmm. detail and if you guys are like hey man you know great design but we can't afford to print this <laughs> i'll be like okay uh, and then i could i could retroactively have what i already figured out but no, I also really like the fact it's I don't know if it's technically considered 3D, but like the the overhanging 3D aspect. So it's not yeah a flat. I, I don't know the proper terminology, but I like the little mechanic of it bringing more to the foreground by doing the overhanging aspect of it. I like it in the shadow. It's got like a drop shadow. Yeah. I never even fucking noticed that. Holy fuck. Yeah, yeah. I, I... We're literally leaping off of the design. <laughs> yeah it was fun because um like with t's armor or whatever right like having the contours go with the waves a little bit so that it has the illusion that you're like in the water coming through it but then also you could just look at it as it is which is just like i i made you guys as a layer and i plopped it over them and Let's like say, hypothetically you know. speaking if like we needed like a tarot deck made up like we don't need a number right this moment, but like hypothetically speaking, I need you to think about that in the back of your head for when we come to you about it. Yo, that's on my that's on my uh, draw it list. <gasps> okay. I want to do it. I want to do a tarot deck. I want to do like a traditional fifty two deck. 
You know, I want to. Hell yeah. I want to. I, I don't know. I, I've been. I came from, you know, just drawing silly drawings when I wasn't paying attention in class, kind of thing. Uh huh. You know, so like I, I really didn't. I didn't really respect design. You know what I mean? Like as uh, drawing, like I would just like draw silly images, and that would be just like fun for me, right? So I'm I'm really trying to. Hey yo. <laughs> hey, Dina says deck Delvers deck cough cough. Yeah, let's go. We'll talk about it. <laughs> um, um, but before we get, sorry, I, I kind of jumped the gun with, we started talking about the t-shirt. Let's just back up a little bit and kind of lay the groundwork for what you do. So other, you know, we now know you're an artist, but in your own words, tell us who you are and what you do as a geek. Okay. Um, so, well, first of all, my name is Austin. <laughs> a contrary to people's belief, my name is not Birds. Birds nope. underscore suck. Is I will not, not be referring to you by your government name. <laughs> Um, but, uh, I, I'd say like the, the way I like to geek or the geekiest thing about me is probably like, I've seen two lifetimes worth of anime <laughs> okay. um, for sure. You know, like, uh, I'm a big one piece fan. Right? I'm all. fucking praying for you. I've tried yeah, and I can't it, do it. It would take it's, two okay. lifetimes to see all of it. One piece. You're right. Here's, <sighs> here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, I can break it down really easy. You know, when people are like, man, the show's over. I'm so sad. Yeah, not me. <laughs> not me. I am not sad because it is not over. I am a hundred episodes in. And I'm like, Jesus, fuck! Can we get somewhere? <laughs> Only nine hundred ninety nine to go. That's I know fair. that's what kills me about it. The thing, the thing that, like, at least for me, like talking about One Piece really quickly is, uh, I feel like I got to the point, I got to the point where I was like, I don't want it to end. You know what I mean? Like I was like, like I was like, oh yeah, I heard it was good, but it's kind of boring, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then just like it got to the point where I was like clicking next episode, and I was wanting it. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't really know how to explain it other than that. See, it's my issue is you. everybody told me it doesn't get good till like the legendary god tier. I mean, till a time skip. And I'm like, I can't grind 500 episodes for that to be the moment that my teeth are sunk in. No, no, fair. I I didn't. I experienced love way sooner than that. So. That's what I've heard too. Like you just got to get through your first hundred episodes, and then I'm like, no, my well, attention span will not. That's not me. I tell people twenty episodes. The first and twenty. I, that's where I was Four. originally because when Luffy gives Nami his hat, I was like, yes, oh sir. fuck, this is great. But then we get through the fucking desert sand shit, and I'm like, you didn't like that? It's there's nothing going on. Like, I, it. Fair enough. Fair enough. I don't I know. I'm going to force myself to do the it underground eventually. Boss thing was but... so sick. And then like the world building with the, like the, the secret weapons. And that's when they tell you about the big like 900 year gap in time. They like, they, sh they, they give you so much world in that art. Any, I, I'm sorry. I almost got um, caught off like how quickly they got to the grand line. I was like, we we're here already. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't yeah. where the one piece is found. Mm -mm. No way, baby. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. So, yes, I love anime. I've seen okay. a lot of anime. It takes up a lot of my time. I, I got to the point where I got tired of waiting and I started reading manga. You know, it's it, it, all the way, all the way over my head. I'm, I'm, I'm drowning. Um, and then number two, um, Dungeon Master. Um, I have only ever played as a player twice. Same. In both your <laughs> lifetimes? I feel for you, brother. So, uh, yeah. I'm trying to uh, fix that for you, T. I know you are. And then um, I'd say any other big ones would be uh, Pokemon. I've been a day one Pokemon, you know. Hell yeah. Uh, since I've been able to speak, you know, I, I just love the funny flashing colors. Original three. Who's your starter? Ooh, Blastoise, uh, Squirtle. Okay, I'll accept. I'll accept. <laughs> yeah, if I could start with Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur is, is the amazing. correct answer here, You're but right. Squirtle okay. is an acceptable backup. Here's the thing. Here's the thing is like emotionally. It's, it's Blastoise because that was my first Pokemon, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he's the first guy I got to level 100. It's a big heart thing. Mm -hmm. But as an adult, I know that it's Bulbasaur. <laughs> I'm, I can read. I know. Dylan, I will pull up and fist fight you. I don't give a fuck. These hands are rated E for everyone. I need them. <laughs> <laughs> um, And then the only other thing that I really super indulge in a lot. That is that thing. <laughs> oh, what? Oh. <laughs> Just as fuck, Bulb. <laughs> fire types are die. See, I always choose the fire type 
even as much as I try not to. Like right now, I'm playing uh, like Shining Pearl. Oh yeah. And I force myself to choose Piplup. Oh, valid. And, you know, I'm not really <laughs> yet, but I am kind of sad about. I don't have a fire. Can I highlight messages. I cannot. That's the greatest first time chat. Uh, Polar Knights, welcome in. Great. Thank you for the greatest intro message I've ever seen. As a barber, I love this <laughs> evolution of beard growth. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to shave mine, dang it. I or refuse. Fucking Buddy the Elf. <laughs> so um, it sounds like you do quite a lot. You are a geek in in many terms. Yes, sir. You are geeking out loud. You're doing exactly what we encourage all of you to do. Part of the FGBG community is geek out loud because you'll find your tribe. Um, do you feel... Sorry, this isn't on the questions that we sent at all, but since we're we kind of brought it up. Um, how is your, we'll call it adult geek experience, Ben, with being a lifelong surveyor of games and Dungeons and Dragons and art? Um, how, what's like your finger on the pulse of the geek geek culture today? Uh, if I'm understanding the question, it's like probably not like because what, I'm in like what connects like what connects me. <laughs> what connects me to geek culture or like what is my like thing that i'm holding on to the most as a geek i guess i'm i'm kind of asking what's your perspective on okay geek culture today versus what it was yeah okay i feel you i feel you um i think the internet has been really weird because truth for me, <laughs> well like for me at least from my experience it's really easy to get immersed into those like geeky things because like i don't know but you guys but i didn't have a whole lot of friends do you know what i mean right so it's like you got us now buddy it's okay a way to <laughs> but it's like a way to sink your hours in you know yeah it's like something to think about something to do to be entertained and stimulated when you don't really have anything else going on mm -hmm. right so it's like it's cool because now you know it may be like I, i've got a group of friends that i had never met before it was just like a friend of a friend is all on discord like some kids from the states some kids from on the other side of canada you know what i mean and it's it's cool because it, it it's you forget how it happened like these people became like some of your closest friends you've been talking for like 10 plus years and it's like right. i don't even remember that this was like xbox live you know halo uh -huh. stuff you know what i mean like you're just yeah. friends now yeah, I think that's been what's really cool. And like some of the people that live locally in that group chat, you know, we play uh, disc golf and stuff. Oh, fun. Uh, every once in a while. I leave yeah. the house and you do physical activity. Right, yeah. Proud of you. Yeah, Frisbee. We play Frisbee <laughs> as adults. <laughs> ah! It's very strenuous, Frisbee. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I'd say that that's that's kind of that's kind of what's really cool, you know, is being able to do, do something that was at least for me that you put into your life you kind of immersed into your life because mm -hmm. you were kind of alone and yeah. like having the opportunity to share that and have it be social i think that's really cool and something you had to hide at one point because we've talked about it on the show before but i'm assuming you're the same age as us um you're either 22 or 45 like i can't tell <laughs> you've got one of those faces you're you're anywhere in that gap um <laughs> But you couldn't like those things growing up because everybody was out to be cool. So th that was the thing to bully. So, yeah, we immersed ourselves in it. But, like, then you had to be, like, be selective about who you were, like, talking about these things with. Because then you were destroying your status in school. And it was just that awkward play of, like, I want to talk mm -hmm. about this. But, like, who can I talk about this with? Um, and then now we're on the fucking internet geeking out about fucking this to everybody that wants to sit down and watch it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All five of you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, no, it's, it's, oh, sorry. Go on. I, I guess the, the reason I'm asking is because sometimes I, I, I like to latch on to those that I, I feel like are really just embracing their geek side and have for their entirety of their life. I feel kind of like the fake. I'm a poser bozer because I'm really leaning into this later in life, which is exciting. And I'm all for it, but I'm always curious to see how, I guess, those OG geeks feel about how things have changed. I, don't know. I kind of think it's kind of cool that you come into it so late because how often do we have conversations with you of like, hold on, how the fuck did you miss that? And then now as a fully formed adult, a fully formed brain, somebody who has 
can actually connect to things on a different level due to life experiences. You can now like mm -hmm. take things in a deeper perspective because I watched Naruto for the first time when I was fucking 11. Now that I'm, I'm 27, I still fucking cry to some of these deaths. But like even have as many times as I've rewatched that, I'm always taking something different from it because a different experience has taken place. I get to now watch you do these things. And it's like, oh, my fucking older than me child is fucking experiencing something that I did. And it, it's so cathartic watching somebody else do something that you've already done. And that now you have something new to relate to them with. Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. Actually, yeah, with my with my partner, she was uh she's like a cool kid, you know what I mean? She did drugs yeah. and like <laughs> cool. you know, Man. Stuff, you know what I, mean? I wish I did drugs. Yeah, they, they, she was she was cool, you know? And so like it was been it's been really neat. I haven't been able to get her onto Naruto. Uh, You'll get I believe beast, you got this. You but got like this. she cried at the end of uh full metal. Start Alchemist. with full metal. Okay, there you go. Got yourself a good woman. Good woman, <laughs> the goatest of animes. Um, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and uh, you know, like uh, I bought her a Switch Lite. Um, so like we're we're gaming and stuff, and it's really weird, like actually seeing what you were kind of saying, seeing stuff that you've been doing forever, like through new eyes, because mm -hmm. because uh, I saw like this. It was a video about um like the mentality of video games, like the culture of the mentality of video games, like how they just like they'll put a coin somewhere that's dangerous and you'll know that like you have to get it but you have to be careful right <laughs> versus but like like someone who's never played a game for the first time they'll like run up and they'll yep. either like completely avoid it because it looks dangerous or they'll just like walk and fall off the cliff you know what I mean? like dumbasses who left this <laughs> wide in the open <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but you know what i mean but then they'll like they'll they'll be like the game is punishing me do you know what i mean Yep. But like, but like, I've got to like explain like, no, the game is showing you the mechanics. They're teaching you how jump works or duck works or something yep. by putting this here, you know. And it kind of brings it back to the whole idea where it's like, back in the day when you were playing Pokemon or what people said, oh, games were so hard back in the day. Like you had to talk to your friends because you couldn't look it up on the internet. You had to buy the mm -hmm. guidebook. Yep. So yeah, yeah, a fucking right? guidebook. I don't. Well, I don't even know what the last guidebook I would have picked the up. The walkthroughs. Is. Um, uh, yeah. uh, for me, it was, uh, uh, the, uh, Hoenn third generation Pokemon, uh, Emerald. Okay. Uh, okay. So you could get the, the, the Reggie, uh, trio. Ooh. Cause it was Braille or whatever. Oh, I forget. Yo, oh, shit. Yep. I think my last one was super Mario for the Wii, uh, because my dad and I were destined to a hundred percent the game uh, and we could not figure out all the coins. And then we found out there was a fucking 10th world because of the book. And I'm like, fuck, how much have I missed in my life of gaming? Because I was so selective about picking up guidebooks. Uh, and now I just completely closed that part of my mind. Cause I don't want to be disappointed about what could have been. <laughs> I purchased a real guidebook. I only, I only finally started looking up that shit when and we had internet and like dark souls. I was just living off of the walk Dark through. Souls. Yeah. Ugh. Gag me with a spoon. Why do I hate <laughs> myself and keep going back? That's why I learned every lesson the hard ways because video games taught me to. Gang gang. Absolutely. Gang gang. Oh my God. I'm <laughs> loving where this conversation is going and this is not at all what I thought we'd be talking about tonight. I thought we'd be talking about your art and just your art, but this is this even my better. favorite thing about when you're here and when you're not here. Uh, cause this was a conversation I had with, uh, TDB last week, mm -hmm. uh, was about like, Bozer will send questions out to people. Uh, if there's lulls, he's got a question ready. Like he's got this whole set of like, Hey, these are conversation points. I'm like, uh, because he asked me, he's like, what are we going to talk about? I was like, I don't know, D&D &D and stuff. And there wasn't a single lulling conversation. I'm here for the vibes. We're going to let this shit flow. If the conversation dies, I can pull something out of my ass. I can't. That's why I got to have a list. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, the question list is is just born from past Geek Out sessions. Because at the end, Birds, I'm going to ask you when you're done, is there anything that we could have done better? And that's something that somebody has said in the past. Like, I kind of wish that you had sent me some questions so I could be prepared. Because not sure. everybody can pull shit out their ass. No, honestly, like, I I, I like the question. Like, I, I was saying to you guys uh, earlier, you know, like, I can tend to ramble and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it was nice just to, like, it, it's my it's my perspective. It's my life, right? But mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, right. how do I feel about that? Like, and I just like wrote some stuff down so that I could kind of collect my own thoughts. So no, I totally appreciated the list, but we could talk about video games and, and well, stuff too. I'll, like. I'll utilize Bozier's list and I'll kind of segue into one of them based off of our current conversation. So you're being um, robbed. Yeah, probably. That's fine. <laughs> um, 
So if you had to name an anime that would like most influence your current art style, which is very original, I think for the, I think the be most complimentative term I can give you, like every time I see your work, I'm like, yep, that's, that's, that's you can tell. work. Um, so yeah. if you had to give an anime, like a thank you, like what would your anime be? That's like, this is what this all stemmed from. We're going to take a to some extent, Instagram obviously, while you're talking about it. That's a that's a that's a big one because you know uh, Pokemon, and is that's huge. why I said to some extent because it's kind of yeah. rude to like only give credit to one anime if there's a, a construct of them. So yeah, no, no, for sure, I'd say Pokemon is huge just because like Pokemon was my first love as far as like character design. Mm -hmm. You know, like they just like made 150 monsters, and I like they were all unique. You know what I mean? They were mm -hmm. they all had personalities. Like like anybody with any drawing ability. If you're like, draw me a Jigglypuff, you could draw a Jigglypuff. And even if it didn't look at all like one, a hundred people would be like, yeah, that's a Jigglypuff. You can tell. Do you yep, know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's, it's so cool. I absolutely love that. Um, I'd say, yeah, I love the old One Piece art. Like when they had like slanted eyes, their heads were all oblong and stuff. I thought that was so cool, so slick. Man, that's such a bold statement. That's why I didn't watch One Piece as a case. Oh, I, I love that so art. much. <laughs> I love it. I think it's so cool um as far yeah it's hard like man mangakas and and these animators are so talented man like it, it's yeah definitely hard to pick one but i'd say those two are really big um but like um you were you were talking about um in one of the questions was like starting art like i've done art my whole life but i dropped it in high school for music oh really wow yeah so um well, i actually started drawing again like four years ago is when i started like 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 i bought a tablet i was like inspired uh by a youtube channel they're called uh drawfee oh so, yeah we we know them yeah okay cool yeah so Subscribe. um so they do they do a bunch of uh they do a bunch of really fun art and i was like man i want to get into drawing but i don't want to waste all the money on paper and pencils and stuff I was, so i just made that one big purchase got myself a tablet and a pen and then you know it was really nice to you know dive in that way so it's mostly instagram as far as my influences go okay yeah like if you've heard of crom.ink this guy's uh he, he makes comic books he uh he's a tattoo artist as well he's a huge oh influence. yeah he's like got that like uh, really stylized skull is kind yes. of yes yeah yep. bird king is the the book that's just been released or whatever then there's this other uh, animator. His name is T.M. Wilson on Instagram. That guy slaps. He always makes like um, he always makes like little 360s of character sheets and stuff. And he hmm. breaks down his process. Oh, that's it's, awesome. It's so incredible. I love his art style. It's it's like I'd say that's a huge influence on me, like having kind of like a vintage feel, but it still be, you know, not quite that. And then, yeah, I, I could list a whole bunch of people that are just like really incredible and, and inspiring to me. The chat wants to see the dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's Pogo. And um, Cantina shared that uh, you drummed in after our Juliet, and I didn't I know that. Did. Yep. <gasps> That's so cool because that's the later question was, how are you in Cantina? How'd you get connected? And you've been connected for yeah. a very long time. Yeah, I've known Dylan and Reese for a. Uh... For like almost 10 years i think nice wow yeah were they the previous like aforementioned like discord friends or is that a separate group separate yeah gotcha. I actually i met i met dylan uh before i met the rest of them just like uh you know i had bangs at one point as well <laughs> um and so See, we were at a, we were at a, it was the 90s after all in the thousands <laughs> so we were at a party we all did um, we were at a party and only people uh with bangs were invited <laughs> and uh i was walking up to the bus station and uh and dylan and the people that were around him were like yo you going to this party i was like yeah i don't know you how do you know i'm going to this party? <laughs> like, you're you did you got one of these <laughs> and does dylan just wait at that same bus stop even today <laughs> with bangs to find but, uh, somebody new to hang out with <laughs> yeah long story short we didn't super hit it off that night um <laughs> but it didn't matter uh he needed a drummer and i needed a band and he's very persuasive yeah. <laughs> it just it just kind of worked out oh wait it. is this is this from back in the day uh this is um my last band i was in oh yeah i'd like to think this this blonde highlighted one is is dylan 
<laughs> During Un unfortunately, his OC not, days. But yeah. um, anyway, persuasive is a nice word. I hear manipulative a lot. <laughs> In the sake of your artwork, though, I got to give you props for just like the level of identity to it. Um, scrolling, I've I scroll through your Instagram often because I just genuinely appreciate your artwork. Uh, but I, I've never looked at your art and like, oh, I see the derivatives of, I've seen inspiration by, um, it, it, it's truly you. And, and it's to agree that I'm like, this is impressive as shit. Because I, I, I don't mean this rude by any means, but I would, it's definitely not an art style that everybody would enjoy. Um, I personally enjoy it a lot, just to kind of clarify that I, I, I do like it a lot. Um, but the identity behind it all, it it's truly speaks volumes for your pedigree almost i guess would be a good word to kind of show even with a break that like coming back in that four years in this creation style and in that time frame like th th this is you so like if this is where you're at now and this continues to grow i'm very excited to see where the growth takes you from where you're at even now it's it, it's impressive appreciate it thank you yeah it's like um, Dylan explained actually in his Geeko Sesh that the whole um, like cartoony kind of style that I've been really expressing recently uh, was an accident. I developed that style just be just like a, a kind of a word of mouth kind of uh, miscommunication, um, like taking um, a more traditional D and D monster or hero and like giving them a super cartoony fun, yep. you know, kind of uh, a spin. And like, I was, I was kind of thinking about it um, when, cause we, we've shown a few people and some people are like, oh yeah, isn't that like, that's not really high fantasy, you know, that's not really grim dark, you know, like what you see with other uh, miniatures and stuff. Right. But like right. my, like, I, I don't, I don't really get offended at that because when I think about D and D, like, do you think of grim dark and hyper realism or do you <laughs> think of being half to full lit with your friends making jokes and trying to fuck bartenders you know what i mean Jesus, <laughs> that is the greatest description for that art style and i didn't realize it until just now half the full <laughs> lit trying no, to fuck that, bartenders and yeah. that's holy fuck that's such a good explanation of what that that is because you're right everybody i think coming into any ttrpg everybody wants that dark grim like i want that gut-wrenching hero of the story bloody montage but you're right at the end of the day it's a butt group of friends fucking dicking around. And let's be honest, that's Take how we're going to fucking look in this goddamn story right now. <laughs> this isn't fucking Dark Souls. We're not yeah. going to look like these fucking the begrudging fucking badasses. No, we look like fools trying to fuck the bartender, tripping over ourselves to see who's going to get this pulled up. Holy shit, that's the best description. God damn it. <laughs> And it sounds like you're talking about Cantina 13's Cantinis, yes. which you are the artist. So not to give Cantina 13 any more free publicity, but I guess <laughs> we love them enough. And we want to support you and your work. So tell love us a little bit about work. these Cantinis. Um, okay, so the Cantinis, um, honestly, when it first started, I was kind of, I wasn't even, like, I, I do theater of the mind mostly when i uh -huh. play uh D, D, right so when they were talking about this i'm like oh yeah that's a cool resource like absolutely i'd love to help you guys out with that right and um and it kind of hit me one day i don't know like really what happened but it struck me like a bolt of lightning i was like i'm a dm and i'm the artist making these resources <laughs> what's wrong with me so i bought a printer <laughs> um <laughs> so i bought a i bought a printer and i i kind of talked to them i was like like if we're going to be doing like these like exclusive patreon releases as well as like constantly flooding the website with more free sets like you know i've taken the reins kind of on the cantinis a little bit like we still talk as a group like deciding like all of the the key details and everyone has their own kind of roles mm -hmm. but like i've kind of ad adopted uh the cantinis as like my own kind of you know like i, I the way i kind of think of it is i, I work with them and for them right you know what i mean like or I cantina be... by cantina yeah <laughs> yeah like it's like like when it comes to the art you know like i'm trying to do art full time i need to pay as much rent as i possibly can <laughs> you know um and so like i can't i can't do that part for free but when it comes to like coming up with ideas and like trying to promote it and you know like keeping it fun and exciting like 
I I want to I want to kind of picture myself as inside the 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 community for that. Which in the realm of two D minis, um, you guys definitely stand out a lot. Um, I coming into D and was very anti paper minis because I'm like it doesn't have the same pizzazz that three D does. Um, but at the end of the day. As somebody who owns a stupid amount of fucking models, uh, and at one point was 3Ding models that I didn't want to purchase, uh, that shit gets expensive very, very fast. And you kind of limit yourself if you don't have the cash flow. Um, but besides you guys, the only other company I can name, and I'm not even sure it's their fucking name at this point, but uh, was it Dump Trash Can Mini or Dumpster Mini? It's what? something trash related. Garbage Pail oh, Kids. I think I know what you're talking about. Oh fuck! What is their name? Um, I've backed them on Kickstarter because they're I I enjoyed their extra large two D minis, um, but they they feel like I think the big difference is the backside of your minis has more details than any other two D I see. I see a lot of people that try to get into the two D market but only put emphasis on like the front sides of characters and then completely disregard the back. And I'm like, well, I'm still looking at the back side of this, and I don't want to look at paper. Like you're literally <laughs> cutting yourself off at the legs by just not designing the back of your sheet of paper. Like, what are you doing here? <laughs> Yeah, you just like you just fold it in half and glue it, and it's perfect yeah, there. And it's fantastic. Yeah, you just I, fold it in half, and we we were blessed enough by Dylan and yourself to each get a free box to kind of show off some great things. And so these are what if you order some cantinis, this is how they come. All, it's simple enough. You just cut them out, and then you glue them together. Right? I have mine too. I'm, I I don't just talk people up for no reason. Yo. And you're, you guys are constantly coming up with new characters, new designs, new themes. Like, I know we've, you've got a Christmas one coming up. You just got yeah. off a Halloween version. I don't yeah. touch grass, Dylan. Mind your business. <laughs> I have no friends in this fucking state. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> but then they wouldn't be so clean. That's why, that's why we put them <laughs> in the paper so we can show off how they're going to receive them it's it's all about customer base um so you mentioned a second ago that you're doing art full-time yes not quite That's paying amazing. the rent yet but what's I, that uh, like though like how freeing is it to like actually be doing your passion as like a legit career yeah it's like a like i said you know um right now i'm in a, a very foundation building period like mm -hmm. I kind of jumped into the deep end because um, my dog, he's got, uh, um, what's it, uh, separation anxiety. Okay. Um, so he can't be really left alone. And then um, his daycare got shut down. And so <laughs> it just it just made the most sense uh, because- Oh, got hit with a double whammy. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, it just made sense because uh, my partner, she she's already the breadwinner as is. You know, and we kind of talked because when she was in school, I, I supported her through that. Like I paid the rent and all that kind of thing. So it was in the works for me to kind of like take less time on work and have more time to focus on art. And like, I just wasn't expecting to cash in on it all at once. Yeah. You know, so um, yeah. So right now I'd say I'm mostly just scared shitless. Um, <laughs> I'm just like trying desperately to like to get much better at a lot of things all at once like uh not just doing the cantinis like expanding on the styles that i feel comfortable promoting and i mm -hmm. bought a bunch of resources to to make merch and and other that things that was like actually that. my next question because i like your art and i want to wear it please yeah mm -hmm. well i'm actually thinking about um i was talking to uh to dylan about uh cantina merch about like having like some mm, kind of same <laughs> but like no like a, a cantini sorry i should say cantini merch same um but i want to i want like a ui uh, uh some i don't know how we do it but like where you can like take the minis that you like and kind of line them up Ooh. like avenger style you know what i mean oh uh, that's a cute, great right? idea you or, sent us free you did send us free merch but i'd like to pay you to have more <laughs> take my fucking money dylan <laughs> but uh, we want, I'll short. go to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, we're. Well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to come up with a bunch of things. I, I've been just absolutely brainstorming. You know, like I feel bad enough that that this is just like kind of like coming up. You know, and and the Patreon obviously, you know, like the idea is free, right? Pushing free mm -hmm. and to like to choose to support is like a big mm -hmm. step for anybody. You know what I mean? Um, but like as soon as as soon as like I can see that like they are covered and they don't have to like pay me directly and that's all self fluid you know right now it's just like oh like i, I kind of feel guilty you know what i mean like i need their money <laughs> i need to keep producing this stuff um but it's like oh i would really love to be able to like just get to the point where i don't have to worry about that relationship right mm -hmm. uh, and you know it just feels weird to send your friend a bill you know <laughs> How yeah, do you promote yourself thing. for people to purchase Good your friends. services? Are you on Fiverr or anything like that? Uh, no, I'm thinking, uh, oh, not thinking. I've been uh, trying to slowly build through that stuff. It's just like getting the time to, you know, to work on everything. Uh, You're I'm building. Like, yeah, exactly. So um, I, I made um, a commission sheet that I dropped on my Instagram nice. uh, for mm -hmm. like rates, like pretty cheap right now. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, like, uh, just like kind of like explaining how I think that it kind of works. Like I've been doing uh, photo editing as well uh, for the band that I was in and uh, like doing some like logo work and stuff like that, as well as character sheets. My like my dream for for like uh, Cantina and for me, as far as like this part is concerned, is I would love for a DM to come up to me and be like, yo, I got a party of five people. I got a warlock, a blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Send me all of the player sheets and I like I can draw them all out. I can make them portraits. I can make them minis, and then you coming just, soon like, for these fuckers. Got you. Yeah, you know I mean, but you could just like you could just cut out your character. Your like, you know what I mean? Like, like all the money you can save from Hero Forge. You know, you just give me what thirty five dollars. You know what I mean? And, like, I'll make, I'll give you a di discount if you give me a, a stack. You know what I mean? But I just want to make your party because I made a party for for these guys, and it's so sick. You know what I mean? It's so sick to just see the guy that you made. You know what I mean? And I love oh, being absolutely. able to communicate in that way and make them come to life, you know? And and it's not like... Uh, the thing that I love, right, is it's 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 a it's a communication, you know? You have yeah. an idea, a vision in your head. I love to, I love to make that happen, you know? And Which this is... is what I had talked to Dylan about. And, and forgive me, Dylan, because we haven't been as close contact as we have been previously in the last couple months. Because life got crazy, um, but this is this is what I wanted to hear that was happening was that like I could bring you my party or could bring a character. I'm like I want to, I want many of these in my whole party, all just custom because I want to see my face on a dandy <laughs> on a cantini, or yeah. I want to see Dell's one armed <laughs> big dick energy on a dandy. Yeah, and you know like I like. And, and it's cool too because you don't have to just do PCs like say you got a boss fight coming up or whatever and, and you've burned through all of the free assets we have you're already on uh, the Patreon you're already getting stuff and you're like man like I've got my party I've got all this stuff but like give me uh, give me an ogre you know with one arm and a mohawk you know what I mean like do you know what I mean? Like, just like mm -hmm. the like, customization is really what's going to make you stand out. And that's yeah. well, that, that's what I want, you know, because like I feel like people make the like because like when I during COVID, right, when I was DMing using uh, Roll20, mm -hmm. I was like going through the free expansion things and like pulling up the, uh, the closest thing I could get to a dwarf yep. that looks like a, a blacksmith, right? Right. I, I just, uh, I just love where I'm at right now where it's like if I want, like a fucking, we did, uh, we're trying to get a stream going as well or like a series uh, Dylan was mentioning, right? Mm -hmm. Like um, to, to like for the Cantina thing. He said that like a, maybe a year ago or whatever in his Geek Out sesh. I don't remember exactly when it was, but um, that was like something that they were trying to work on. And now that I've got these, it's like we were doing a test run and I made like a Hydra fight. If you can even. Oh, cool. Oh, there he is. That's a sick Hydra. But you know what I mean? He's just like this silly little, look at this dumb, no brain stuff. <laughs> you know? Like, you know, like I was saying before, like keeping it lighthearted, keeping it silly, you know, like naming naming your NPCs Poopy Pants McGee. Like, that's just like, that's just something that should be allowed, right? It's the nature of, or it, it's the state of the game at this point, because everybody has access to it. Everybody has the ability to 
bring their personality into it. And like you said, going through Roll 20s like free ass assets and like ah this is close enough it kind of sucks to not being able to like find what you're looking for and mm -hmm. if you're not artistically inclined it's kind of defeatist and li really limits yourself to like what you're willing to create because you know what you want doesn't exist on the internet yeah um and your only other option is to find artists that do this full-time for a living so they're paying exorbitant amount of fees because they get so many people coming in they're like well yeah i'm obviously not going to do all these so i'm gonna up my prices so i'm going to get paid the same amount by doing less work but you can't find what you're offering at a reasonable cost and then still get in to create what you want and i'm just communicating with you you're very clear about hey oh this isn't what you want you want me to change this that's fine let's fucking do that for you because you're here for the art you're here to give the your customer service 101 like i'm here to provide you exactly what you're looking for just communicate with me and i will make it happen mm -hmm. for you yeah. and it's going i love that so much and just to yeah. loop the podcaster listeners in um so you can find the commission sheet on bird suck instagram which is linked either in the description or you can go to the uh, face or not facebook <laughs> youtube and it's linked there but so for a portrait of your character, it's twenty dollars for a flat, meaning like a, a print. Um, yeah, yeah. But a full body pose is thirty five, and then if you want to add the background, it's another forty to seventy, depending on what it is, right? Yeah, like the, the level of detail, and then it's like, um, like so, if you just want like, uh, like say you want a whole bunch of NPCs, like just mm -hmm. like just to show, right? So like that's the the three, the three other target prices, right? So like a sketch, right? Oh, okay. Like, is like just like colored in clean lines mm -hmm. and then you have like like texture is what i called it with like you get highlights and you mm -hmm. have like shimmery magic effects and stuff like that right? for five dollars so like, more yeah here yeah, options like, is always a route to go yeah it's it was just like it's nice because like you could get uh the way that i kind of worked it out is the sketch is uh a, a portion like 30 percent or something of like the most detailed option right mm -hmm. okay and, and that's also what i put in for the deposit so like if 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 i draw the sketch for you that you've paid for already with the deposit and you're like i don't need to spend any more money this is good enough like this is perfect transaction is over you know mm -hmm. cool and i and i gotta give you props for not cutting yourself sh short pricing wise uh especially trying to build your foundation uh that's always the most painful thing to see in my opinion obviously not as somebody fucking trying to do what you're doing at the moment uh, but it's always the worst like you see pricing and then you see like the artwork you're like i why are you selling yourself so short like please don't <laughs> you're worth so much more <laughs> Yeah, and so I was really excited to see like proper pricing for somebody like building a foundation without trying to sit there and price gouge, which is going to alienate a market in that exactly. foundation building stage. Yeah, I tried to find a pretty sweet spot. Like if I was to like consider like what I'm making hourly, like I'm making like $10 an hour. You know what I mean? Which is like, I think that's fair for like uh, an internship or a starting out. Do you know what You're I mean? Right. Yeah. Like I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to gouge you, but I'm also not trying to you know fuck i want a lava free. corgi i want a lava corgi on a t-shirt make it happen Dylan. Cute. says, hear me out lava monsters but cute and cuddly like a lava corgi next cantini set yeah if you're nice and cold i love that but that that's the discussion i had a couple weeks ago with another artist alan four because he's now doing art full time and he's doing these almost like cosplay portraits oh and, cool um just kind of those characters that we fall in love with but it, it takes so many hours and just like how do you put a price on that because you don't want to gouge because you lose your customer base but you don't want to sell yourself short because then you're not respecting what you're worth yeah and that's got to be the hardest thing no absolutely and i'm actually really uh really kind of thankful for the style that the cantinis have been in like it may have been a bit of a like a flexing and, and stressing to get into the style mm -hmm. but now that i'm there it's like it's really cool because like we were talking about it's like just like fun shapes you know what i mean mm -hmm. i get in there i get the idea out and i can like i can really pump through them pretty quick now mm -hmm. you know which is is really nice because yeah like the hyper realism and and the gritty you know fantastic stuff that people are used to yeah obviously that's going to cost a lot more because it's going to take so much longer right right so it's, it's just kind of nice it's like a nice medium where it's like it keeps it fun keeps it light keeps it silly um but it's still 
high quality it's still you know like the the product itself there's enough of our assets we've made i, I can't even remember how many now including the patreon exclusives like like we're, we're close to 50 assets you know nice and like repeatable like goblins and all that stuff you know what i mean like yeah another thing too right is this supposed to be a community if, if we've released all this stuff and you're like man where is my this i'll draw it what about it yeah <laughs> just, just send him a message so and for those cool... oh sorry oh, go, ahead. go ahead but nope you're good no your question sounds first <laughs> <laughs> I, a and... first system of it. yeah uh, and you kind of touched on this a little bit um and I think the only thing Cantini's is missing, and I say this very, very loosely, um, is like circling back to like you said, it's just like the color customization aspect of just being able to change those shades, those tints, even at the extreme, but like changing just pant color or shirt color, just kind of add something else to add a little bit more variety. But still, I haven't looked at the Cantini's and like, yep, this is what I'm missing because at the end of the day, most dams go through the same routine. You, obviously, everybody wants to pull their favorite monster here and there, but you're always going to have goblins. You're always going to have some legged, like some level of four-legged creature coming after you. Ogres are always going to be there. Trolls are always going. We all have those tropes that, like, we all fall into. But and it's that's great because now you know the basis of like this is what we need to get out for everybody's like yep that's exactly what i need and then like you said oh you want something just let me know and then we can start adding that into the payroll of yeah that's next because if one person wants it that means other people Somebody are thinking does. it yeah, exactly yeah exactly and like yeah with the like uh dylan so i'll send him the assets and then for patreon at least i don't know if it's it's for the uh a website or not i haven't actually looked into it myself <laughs> um but uh for the patreon at least i know when i send him assets he will make um like color variants hmm. right so it's not like customizable in that sense but like they will be different you know, versions a different shirt or a different yeah, hair color variants like that like exactly. that they do they, they do exist but it would be cool actually like i'm totally down i've got all the files here you know if if i <laughs> if i was to uh if i was to uh, release a thing and someone is like hey man i want it to look like this or i want to be able to change that like i feel like i don't know if you can do that on your on your uh phone or on your computer but couldn't you technically couldn't you technically put it through instagram filters that, <laughs> even <laughs> it's see like i was going to make a comment like everybody oh, can good. basically use photoshop to just upload and then drop a color but True. i was like yeah. i don't want to disrespect these guys by like undermining that they don't technically Here's need to be oh my God, for I those totally color forgot. changes i totally forgot i was thinking about uh i was talking to um dylan about this i got so excited because um we we also send out the uh, low ink version where it's just the lines right oh yeah i was like i was like yo we should do a coloring book yeah. yes you could just but, yo, color we your could, own but we could also do yeah like you you print out the low ink one and you just like get some felts yep. <laughs> <laughs> <It's paper. laughs> just color it up i do love the idea of a coloring book though uh yeah, my right? misses i don't know if you guys remember these from uh when we were kids uh but the felt coloring sheets yes. um, yeah, yeah, this yeah this is something she and i just absolutely love and obviously they're not popular anymore but she went to dollar general and picked one up for me today love um, those actually yeah. they were so it's much like a fun. meditation thing you know it really is yep. um well if people now who are clearly in love with you and your artwork and want to support you and it's so much easier to support or want to support the artist once you know their background and their story so that's one great thing that i love about these geek out sessions because we see that um that people there's a huge influx of people wanting to support you so if they want to do that where and how is the best way to do that um at the moment the best place would be instagram uh that's kind of where i've like already got my roots planted okay um but i've done some test streams already for twitch i'm planning because i was talking to you guys about like really trying to like just like improve totally you know and just like yeah, learn a bunch more techniques and skills and stuff and i was kind of planning on doing that just while streaming yeah you know well, there's no like, we'll be there man yeah just like kind of draw along or like say i'm working on something people just want to hang out or if people want to suggest something throw something out you know like I, I figured it could be educational if you want to draw along or mm -hmm. you know it's just going to be a chill you know I bet like you're saying great. just like kind of meditating i'm just putting lines on paper you know 
there, I which mean, I gotta, there's so many of those streams that are so successful. There's a lot of those streams. Yeah, that's actually been some of the thing that's uh, been um, harder to motivate yourself, you know, because you, you start at the bottom, right? So, but people, I mean, I'd rather watch you because now I know you. I don't know those fair, people. Fair. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter if their <laughs> style is different or whatever. Yeah. Like, now I know you and I want to support you. That's the only reason people come to Four Geeks by Geeks. It's not because we're giving out <laughs> quality content. <laughs> they just now know us and they want to hang out for yeah. some reason. See, that's the thing, though. And I don't know if you use TikTok or not. And Bozer's going to disagree with me, but for different reasons because we're tired of the hamster wheel. I'm just um, tired of the hamster wheel. Yeah, but Instagram obviously is a great one because you've got reels and whatnot. But um, the internet, it fucking makes people famous every day, especially people that shouldn't be famous. Uh, but it also does a quality thing and a very wholesome thing where it makes people that should be famous famous as well. Um, and you coming to Twitch, I believe, is I believe is going to be a great thing for you because uh, as somebody who spends uh, more time on Twitch than I probably should be, um, especially if my work job is watching me because I spend a lot of hours uh, uh, being paid to watch Twitch. Um, but taking clips and just so you don't even have to do like the extra legwork, but you can just take your stream take a clip of it, speed it up and throw it up on TikTok, and you're going to get views. People are then going to go from TikTok to Twitch because it's an immediate transfer over because like, ah, I just watched this guy do this in X amount of time. Let me go see this happen in real time. And knowing the art that you're capable of and the energy that you are already providing to two complete strangers. <laughs> and if you can meet two randoms on the internet and have a live conversation with them, uh, sitting down and talking to yourself while reading a chat and having a conversation going, it's a lot harder to do this in my opinion than talking to yourself live and keeping the conversation going. Uh, because even at the end of the day, you don't even have to talk. If the energy is still there and people are just enjoying the artwork itself, you're still going to find a way to monetize your capabilities and your artwork into something that's going to allow you to take, move past that foundation stage into that. Oh yeah. Now I'm making the money that I need to. So it's now it's no longer my partner being the bread earner and taking this mighty risk on me being able to dive into this full time. It'll allow you. And I don't want to speak for you, obviously, but it'll met. It, I believe it'll help you kind of feel like this is what I should be doing. And I'm glad I'm doing this. Um, and I mean this wholeheartedly. If you're ever feeling like I shouldn't be fucking do this, please give me a call. Shoot me a message. Uh, because outside of Alec, I will 100% be your number one cheerleader. <laughs> um, and when you put merch out, oh, yeah. um, as long as my wife is not listening to this, um, I will buy fucking all of it to support you. <laughs> you will Thanks, too. Appreciate it. Unless Sky's here, then no, I'm definitely not doing that. Never. No, I'll be responsible anymore. with my, my extra funds. Yeah, no, I appreciate never it. Yeah, yeah it, it's it's definitely like again on the top of the, it it all boils down to any kind of art, I guess. You know, it's really hard to hard to put yourself out there. You know, even if you feel like you're doing a pretty good job, you know, it's really easy. Like I I've been really seriously trying to get better at art for four years. And I see people who've been doing it for 10, 15 years, you know, and they've been doing it for 10, 15 years, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like it's really fucking cool what they do, yep. you know? And so it's like, I definitely understand, you know, you started a place and you got to move forward and you got to keep doing it to move forward. Right. It's just right. like, yeah, bolstering yourself up. Yep. You know, kind of got to remember comparison is the thief of joy. It is. Yep. And you can't compare your beginning to someone else's middle because that's not fair to you. That was mostly me talking to myself, not being condescending to you because I'm really fucking bad about that. You are fucking bad. <laughs> no, honestly, like, that's like um, one of the questions you had was like advice. And yeah. like the advice that like I like wrote down was just advice that like I wish I followed stronger, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like it's Hi, like John. stuff I tell myself like when I'm down, you know? Like what would it be? Um, what was like, it? So like, uh, it was like, so the way you phrased it was like people working on their like art or like their passion or something like it was more broad than, than drawing, but like just to keep it to drawing is like draw as much as you can or play music as much as you can. Like, and when you're tired, stop, you know, like don't associate what you want to do with like what you have to do yep. because it just makes you, it makes you get burned out. Yes. You know what I mean? Don't, Thank don't you. force it. Don't push through. You know Thank what I mean? you. T, this Stop. is why I'm saying if you if you need a night off, take a night off. 
streaming. <laughs> like honestly, because if then you associate, it. I never put that together. Yeah. If you associate it with negative feelings, then it's not gonna be fun anymore. Yeah, it's gotta exactly. be fun. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, uh, like uh, specifically for art and music, I don't know how much this transfers over to other stuff, but like nothing, uh, like nothing you're doing is going to be as good as what you did like tomorrow. You know what I mean? You're always going to be better the more time you put in, yep. right? So like definitely be proud of what you just made, right? right? But don't be down on it, right? Because like the more you make stuff, the better your stuff is going to be. Hindsight's right? always twenty twenty. Yeah, like uh, like uh, something something that I saw uh, another artist kind of posted about. They were like, if you ever want to feel good about yourself, redraw something you drew like two years ago. Yeah, just you about know? to say that. Yeah, like and, and it's like so like the stuff that you're gonna draw tomorrow is gonna be better than what you drew today, right? It does it, like it doesn't it doesn't matter. That's just a fact, you know, because you have all the experiences that you had, you know, and it, it's important to to not be so focused on getting it exactly perfect, you know. Yeah, John agrees. As, as a fellow art person, I can attest. Yeah, cool. Perfect. Um, oh, and then the last one that I wrote down, and I wrote it in all caps, is style is something you are. It's not something that you find. So like Ooh, to like say that to like, again for the yeah. people in the back. <laughs> yeah. So like to try to like to try to like put it into more words, it's you you don't find your style. Your style is like how you draw hands. You know what I mean? Or how you draw hair. Like if you don't like your style, look at other artists and and try to do it like them, because your style is just how you interpret the world onto the page. You yes. know? How do you draw an apple? Is you thinking of an apple and you writing it down, right? And that's what unless you have aphasia is. like me, and then it's fucking real difficult to do that part. <laughs> <laughs> when you look at an apple, <laughs> you draw one in front of you. That's your style. <laughs> hey, Oceana. All our artists are coming in about now. Hey, hello, artists. Um, well, if you're just coming in, we are having a fantastic conversation with Bird Suck, the man behind the winning design of our community t-shirt contest, and also the man behind Cantina 13's Cantinis. And he deserves all of your support. Not only because of his talent and what he's doing, but because of who he is and what he's putting out in the world. And you are the kind of person that we love having on the show because we can proudly tell the world about you and say, go support them. They honestly deserve it. We're not peddling bullshit out here. This is the real deal. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. <clears throat> um, and so you can use command bird suck to go to their Instagram and just keep get your commission get your own oc as a mini get it as and go support the patreon at cantina 13 that also supports bird suck as well as cantina 13 and it's just a big incestuous financial boon i don't like your promo message I don't know. I didn't know where that sentence was going, but that uh, makes me so fucking uncomfortable. But with that, oh, what do you oozed. say? Uh... Oh no! Oh, I keep getting oozed. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> stop it! The ooze won't stop it. But um, only uh... we've been hyped and love you enough. <laughs> what do you say we draw some bullshit for the internet, boys? Oh shit! Yeah, I'm okay. terrified. Let's do it. Um, I'm going to play this intro and then I'm going to pee and I'm going to let T. You're going to describe what's going to happen next while I pee. Because Wait, which one are we doing? For... Are we doing the whiteboard or are we whiteboard, doing garlic whiteboard. phone? Okay. Bar whiteboard first. Sure. Okay. It's time for a game we like to call Suck My Pictionary. See, we came up with that title over text about 20 minutes before the show. Uh, it has nothing to deal with the game, nothing to do with the game we're about to fucking play um, in the slightest. Uh, so what we're doing here is there's a very fun website called uh, who the fuck is my D&D character dot com. Uh, so we're going to play a small little game here uh, where we're going to randomize who the fuck our character is. Uh, and then between whoever is drawing versus our other two uh, participants, uh, it is their goal to guess the race, the class, 
uh, and then whatever weird quirk is going on about said character. Um, if you've never used this website, uh, you will uh, if you play enough TTRPGs because you're going to get to a point of what the fuck do I play anymore? Uh, but somebody had that question. Somebody's answered that question for you. Uh, and they took what uh, Cantina 13 did for me with an NPC generator uh, and give you a basis of who the fuck is my D&D character. Uh, example being um, Frank the Tiefling Warlock from a haunted castle who has delusions of grandeur. If you don't like that one, then you just click, that doesn't make any fucking sense. And next you get the driven dwarf paladin from a line of fallen royalty who is being hunted by a terrible monster. And I don't know about you, but as a fellow DM, I, just off those three sentences, I just made three campaigns yeah, that, was a, that I can that was fucking rift off of fucking fantastically. But while we're waiting for Bozer to get back, because he's our fucking game host, I'm just here to fucking fill time. There he is. Anyways, we'll I'm get back. back to that. I think Bozier should go first. All right. So we're going to show this whiteboard. You already told the, the rules and everything, Ray? Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they, they totally know what's happening. I mean, I gave rules. I just don't know if we were on the same page for the rules at this point, to be honest. So just like make sure we're on the same page i think maybe you should rehash that we're using who the fuck is my dd character correct uh, and one of us is going to draw while the other two try to guess yep. the class the race and the fun fact about said character that is generated yeah, yeah then i 100 yeah. did the thing you asked me to do dad yeah good job son because <laughs> the who the fuck is my dd character is just like the cantina 13 mythos logos generator except for dd and a little snarkier. Good job, Tess. I did Let's make that. Three. I did make that comparison as well. See, we are on the same page as always. I knew it. Oh. Wow! Oh. It just automatically makes a feature. circle for you. Yeah, it That's just cool. did it. Oh, didn't do it that time. All right, so I'm gonna generate my D and D character. Who the fuck? I'm gonna get rid of this. Sorry. <laughs> it's a good test, though. Okay. So I'm going to draw you guess. I need the race, the class, and something close to the quirk. Correct. Quirk okay. is subjective to whatever the fun fact about the character is. Okay, here we go. Oh, I guess we're drawing in blue. All right, so it's not intended to be a triton. Got it. No. Okay. Or a, a squirtle. What's He's the gum gum thing guy. from Mario? What's the little brown people called? Goomba? Goombas, thank you. Um, all right it's not a dwarf he doesn't have a beard he's given he's immediately giving me stoic which could be any D, &D <laughs> all right a i'm getting king, i'm getting kingpin vibe so far oh now the scowl okay he's okay. angry barbarian he's raging not quite human so not human barbarian okay monk why do now, you say that i don't know I, well you went down and i thought it was gonna be like a robe but that's just like a traveler's tea um oh. tavern brawler human oh. oh that's is it a okay. monk okay i think it might be a monk i think i might have tripped into that one uh or half orc think, monk okay yeah this is did. definitely yeah this is definitely working monkey monkey this is feeling monkey okay you tripped into monk good job okay so i'm i'm getting orcish vibes with the brow i like that it's don't, trick don't with skinny is add. i'm looking at me don't 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 get self-conscious just add and okay. we'll fill in the blanks um okay uh <laughs> <laughs> is this helpful okay he's got hair making caillou hair does that help <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did Caillou really have cancer? Is that just a joke we all have? I hope he did. I don't know if it's, <laughs> been, I don't know if it's been confirmed, but I it just feels kid. too real. Why else also, would they put up with this did mom? you guys know Peppa Pig is nine feet tall? Yes. Lies. I, that. I swear to God. W Wikipedia or whatever. Why? Why are they nine feet tall? I don't know why, but live with that information like the rest of us do. To, to, uh, it's a dominance thing. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. All right. All I right, can't so figure good. out what the quirk is. Um, I okay. Let me get let me get zoom out here a little bit Whoa. and get kind of really yeah. obvious. Yeah, you should just I be doing this? Should I be doing this on browser, not on 
mobile? Um, oh, undo. If you can't, the thing is, you're gonna do this on mobile and still blow us out of the water. <laughs> 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 All right, so he's fighting on the volcano, so fighting for his tent. A the circus, circus monk. A what? A what? Uh, performing orc monk. Um, I heard circus. Uh, okay. Traveling circus monk. A monk from the circus. Yeah. Doesn't and, like performing. And okay, he's got legs too. Just oh, he's got legs. Okay, cool. There, there you go. Okay, so... circus monkey. <laughs> ah, good. Okay, you got monk. You did get traveling circus. Nice. Um, okay. Race. Uh, okay, half so giant. Because we said a... orc, and you weren't going for that one. So he's got a face, and he's got hair. Mm -hmm. um, only obviously, be... not an elf. Is it okay? Uh, is it like a? Do you know if the parameters are set to like just the player's handbook races? I don't know. I think that this is, this is a player's handbook race. Okay. 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 Cool. 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 No. No, he's too tall to be a gnome. Um. He's not. I've he's been playing he's not, for years, and I'm drawing a blank on the. He's fire. not a half elf. He's Here's not a, half a piece elf. of toast not... for context. Piece of toast for halfling. <laughs> <laughs> is he a halfling? No. Okay. Okay. Piece of toast. Just think basic as toast. Basic as white of toast. Toast. Yeah, he's, a, for, is, he's not human. For size context. He's what? He's not human. Nobody said that. I thought I, that. I did say human at one point. Yeah, I didn't that hear was like human. the first guess. Yeah, I didn't hear human. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. He, he he literally said he said oh I guess it's not human or something like that. Yes, he's a human monk. Okay. <laughs> with the okay. traveling circus. Okay. A sternly human okay. monk from the class act traveling circus who never takes their armor off just in case. Love Damn, it. we should have set official timers, but Bozer, we got that in about four minutes for you. All right. <laughs> how could how could we not know it was a monk? It has armor. <laughs> I, I think we got to give, uh, we make sure we Birds gets the chance to show us up here. So I think... Okay. Uh, birds here should go okay, uh, also cool. i do have one more question Wherever. is it all birds suck or specifically do you just have beef with one species of bird here's the thing because um, i might... will fist fight a pigeon any chance <laughs> i get personally um i do not like how pigeons don't understand where they are on the food chain <laughs> i don't like that a, i don't like a pigeon will cut me off on the side of the road that's just disrespectful it should understand that even though i won't I could kill it. <laughs> and because that's what matters. It. No one's it killed a itself. pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> that's the problem. Um, and, and you can't um, because then you'll see the robot fucking innards and you'll know the government is spying on us. But anyway, I think they know. I think they know that if I killed it, the people around me would think I was a bad person. <laughs> and it's just like a power play. Like you wouldn't kill me. You I would, do think seagulls are just down. as bad as pigeons. I think they're fucking inbred cousins. Anyway. Um, uh, what was I thinking about? But uh, it would be surprised to know that I actually love birds. They just scare me. I respect it. Yeah. Like, birds, so cool. Absolutely so cool. I'm obsessed with, uh, like, well, first of all, they can fly. I think a beak is <laughs> probably the coolest fly. mouth on Earth. I don't think anyone has a cooler mouth than a beak. Um, Damn, he came in just full on tricking us. He's like, yeah, birds suck. <laughs> Psych, bitch. But I just, just wanted like, to hear what shit you had to say. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. It's like, I absolutely love birds, but, like, birds are fast and pointy. You know what I mean? And, and I don't want to be, I don't want to be walking around and then there's just, like, a bird in my shit, you know? And I'm just afraid that one will do that. Like, do you think the movie Birds by Alfred Hitchcock could actually... Like, if every bird decided to fight humanity... <laughs> How many bad? birds do you think you could fight off before getting overwhelmed? I don't want to fight one bird, is what I'm trying to say. I, <laughs> I feel like I feel like even if I could take one single bird, I would be so upset having to. You know what I'm saying? I would gladly punch a bird. I think it'd be great. Okay, I'm going to re-roll. I'm going to re-roll because there's some similarities between the last one. Okay. Okay. You can basically keep scrolling until you get one you like. We would have no idea. Um, okay, so... <laughs> okay. I aspire to have the same confidence as the pigeon walking around downtown. They are fearless. Dylan's okay. Safe. All right, let's try to get this. Let's okay. Let's try to get this going. All right. 
Uh, All right, I'm going to set a timer so we can see how quickly we get you. Okay, I love it. Are you? Are you go. I can't see it. You can't see me? No. Really? What the heck? Are you? Re rejoin real quick. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to send it into the private. Listen, we made it almost an hour and a half with no technical difficulties. This yeah. is a fucking momentous <laughs> moment right. for us here. That's definitely my bad. That's definitely my bad because I, I switched. I got, I got there you nervous. Go. I got nervous about the. Oh, wait. It's working. Now we see. Now we see. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, we okay, we're chilling. We're chilling. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Already. Oh my god. I bet that's just his armor T. Look at this detail. Look no, at no, no, no. it. Oh wait, no, that's his nose? Warforged? No, that's a beard. It's a dwarf. Oh, uh, okay, I, be, I see it now. Should I be saying anything? I don't know. Whatever you want, I guess. Like, I mean, like, is this like, like, uh, like, should I tell you when you've succeeded so you don't keep guessing? Like, I think thing? so. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. If that. we get something. Okay, go ahead so yes, you're absolutely right. This guy is a dwarf. Okay. You're you're drawing this with a mouse. Yes. He's leaning on a bar. No, he's sitting. Okay. He's an old man dwarf with no arm. Artificer. No legs, or just he's got one leg, or maybe the legs are next to each other. Okay, and then he's got to have a little belly because he's a dwarf. Sorry, dwarves. I'm sure that not all of you have belly, with a but... huge cock punch in the front. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's just his little belly. Whoa! Oh! Uh. <laughs> oh. Did you want this rectangle to be a circle? <laughs> Me too. Okay. My God, we're watching a cantini. Is he in a wheelchair? Real time. <laughs> now he's got a okay and then and then he's like oh my god okay there we go he's even doing fingers who is this man my senior thesis in college was going to be a photo book about seagulls doing silly things Oceana says uh please can we make that happen um all right, so he took what off his that? glasses. And he's oh. angry. Uh, maybe he's jacked as well. Oh, <laughs> a maybe. barbarian. And then let's let's uh. Is he raging about his glasses? And then let's let's do this. Let's do this. Uh. But he's at Disney World. No, he's in Russia. This is Putin. <laughs> Putin is pooping. probably should have warned you guys i suck at pictionary um he's in a stinky castle a sand a castle. ghostly haunted castle. it's a haunted castle okay we it's love a, that it's an old dwarf living in a haunted castle and he's mad about times be changing so he's is raging he is he a necromancer um Ooh. this one doesn't have a class oh, oh okay this one doesn't have a class unless oh no no no, you're right, Barbarian. Sorry, I totally Okay. Forgot. Nice! So, Dwarven Barbarian in a haunted castle. Um, and then there's one detail about him that we've not quite established yet. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me make it more clear. He's got a wooden arm and he's old. He's, he's jack... Like... He's blind. Uh, he can't see uh, without his glasses. He's Velma. Damn it, Velma. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe, maybe... Okay, now Velma doing, as the now old Barbarian. It. We gotta do a little bit of action, I think. Oh, okay to get it across oh he's throwing his glasses he doesn't need his glasses he can see without them he sees dead people rage fighting I can't. he's thinking so hard and he's stressed oh, he's got anxiety ghosts make him rage so he throws his glasses he says get out of here ghosts the ghost through his glasses <laughs> and they're all broken <laughs> he broke his glasses um okay uh He's possessed by ghosts and made him break his glasses <laughs> uh i think i i don't know if you guys are gonna i don't know if you guys are gonna get it from here i don't know what else i can draw i'm gonna be honest draw, i'm out of ideas um, it's gonna slap us in the face though isn't it um 
he he hates to wear his glasses. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Yeah. So he's raging because he hates to wear his glasses. He's, Ooh, he's like, he's like, I'm not old. All right. I, I can see <laughs> fine. Meanwhile, his <laughs> meanwhile friend, he's 112. All of his <laughs> friends are dead. He's buried him. everyone but the elves. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he hates to wear. I didn't know how to draw. He hates to wear. So I just had no, him kind of trying to look at them. I see it now. He's it's got in a there. feud. Ooh, yeah, wait. no, it makes sense once you point it out. You even have him like literally doing this. How? Oh, I can't see you guys. Sorry, how? I was trying. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, it, birds. None impressive. of us have it. We got, we got two out of three. Two and a half. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Two and a half. Two and a half. It's not too bad. Oh no! You got the you got the haunted, you got the race, and you got the class. Three yeah, or four. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's it's passing better. grade. That's all we were working for. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're gonna race this entire thing. Okay, T. Oh, oh shit. Okay. We okay. It didn't erase shit. Did it erase it for you? Oh, it did erase it for me. But not for me. I still see it. I don't know okay. what that word means. Okay, T. You are up. Dang, oh oh shit! Oh god! Dang okay, even. this is not going to be easy. All right. You know what? If it was easy, it wouldn't be worth it. Oh wait, I got to delete. I got to erase before you draw on top. Dragonborn. Of Correct. Oh wait, why did it erase? Because uh, he's erasing the image that you're. Hold on. Oh you're, shit! You're drawing on a canvas that's currently being wiped clean. <laughs> that's fair. Look at look at the Twitch. Oh, <laughs> now I see it. My bad. <laughs> because it sucks because it was a really good. I got it right away. That was a it really was. Snow. I saw it for a half sec. Okay, I'm done erasing. Okay, all right. I, mean, I got perfect this. Perfect Dragonborn Snout. Go. All right. How do I control Z? Right. All right. Yeah. He's got some practice. He. I played a Dragonborn in our first campaign, and he drew them, and now they're tattooed on his body. They are tattooed yeah. in my body. I would show you, but I don't have underwear on, and then we'd get a violation on Twitch. Fair you enough. never have underwear on. You're lucky I have pants on. All right, how do I want to do this? That's copyright, and you can't say that. Okay, he's also sitting. Or, no, that's a sword. Correct. He's a fighter? He's a fighter? Yes, yes. All right, so we got that part. Um, I am a way better form. guesser than I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Okay. It's so a dragonborn fighter with oh, okay. an with emotional banana. support oh, no. Cthulhu. What is that? Is that a crystal? No. Um, and he's a, a swinger. Plant. He has upside down pie. Oh, oh he's high. Weed, weed, weed. Okay. Okay, so there's a specific word here that takes place. Lit. Um, he's he's inebriated. A stoned dragonborn fighter. Oh, bowl, bowl, bowl. He's he's smoking a bowl uh, <laughs> of oh the, shit. The um, weed, the he's a good? dragon bong. I don't understand. <laughs> a dragon bong barbar <laughs> fighter. That's All right, I got. I got to separate these things. So this is one idea. Okay, one idea is okay. that it could be a dragon. <laughs> okay, so, um, so, so this breaks down to weed, weed bull, weed bull house. Uh, he's weed he's doing a, a hot house. Hookah, hookah, hookah house. A dragonborn hookah fighter bar? who runs. No, like hookah this bar. answer is where he's from. Um, he's evil. from a grow up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, no, 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 wait. Is that a mortar and pestle? Maybe is that just um, like, no? Is that her? He's a crack house baby. Fuck, I don't know how to describe either of these things. He's, okay, uh... okay, just give me, uh, give me, give me some, give me some more of the dragon. Give me the dragonborn doing an action. Well, you got What's this part on? down, so it's oh, that's the matter. All you needed. Correct. Like you got that part. It's just a matter of getting where he's from, which okay. I don't know how um, to. Weed bowl house. Okay. Animal house. So he's hot soup. So he's he's from the D. There's Weed. a D word associated with dank. Drug. Yes. Okay. Now I got. How do I get? Ooh. 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 Drug okay. Um, Drug bowl. 
Dragon Ball Z. He's a dragonborn from the seventh circle of hell. Seventh the heaven? Se the seventh nerd. From Harry Potter? Oh, uh, dead, 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 Deathly Hollows? Yes, but the second word. Half hollow. Potter? <laughs> hollow? <laughs> He's a dragonborn Fido from the dank hollows. <laughs> From the dank hollow. Oh shit! <laughs> that, oh, that... specific. I couldn't figure out how to get hollow, so my idea was like a bowl. I was like, "Wait, bowls aren't hollow. That doesn't yeah, make sense." Hollow. Oh damn, that's tough. You could you could draw him like trying to smoke, and then it's like, "Oh, there's nothing in it." It's... Ah shit, that would have been a good. How one. do you draw <laughs> that? How... <laughs> you just draw it twice. Yes, you he just could. Draw frame he one and frame I. Two. We could not draw this, and this would be understood. I mean, I love oh. this little dragon head. I, I, I can't tell the perspective. Is he looking, like, down and away? I was just drawing a head, to be honest with you. Oh, and I kind of like it a lot. But yeah, that six-month project of my last art project was drawing our D&D &D group, and then I took the outline and tattooed it on my thigh. Hell yeah. Show us! Show us your penis! Uh, these sweats don't go high enough. <laughs> And Boom listen, down. our first content violation will be on Wednesday. We'll save it for there. Our first, our first? we haven't been we haven't been dinged yet, have we? <laughs> no, but not because we haven't violated anything. Well, so if we, we haven't got, got a caught. ding, we haven't violated. Innocent till proven guilty. Okay, first gang, gang, nerd. <laughs> what? No, you guys. That's not true. Birds suck, everybody, and also. Let's hear it for Bird Suck. Hey, I hear you. I hear it. I, can I don't know how to untime out Alex, so. Is he timed out for real? I timed him out. <laughs> <laughs> 90 messages were deleted. <laughs> I didn't know. I just hit the timeout. I didn't even pick 600 seconds. 600 seconds? That's 10 minutes. Sure, that's math. Damn. I'm proud of that math, actually. Yeah, that was excellent math. Well done, math. As somebody who can't figure out click clack uh, my math answers, um, yes, I'm very proud of that. Thank you. I can't. You'd be astonished how many times he rolled something like 13 plus 4. Uh, give me a second. 14, 15, 16, <laughs> 17, 19. <laughs> bitch, what? <laughs> um, Birds, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. This was, yeah, it was a pleasure, man. Such a pleasure. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you for having me out uh, and talking and all this stuff it is a lot of fun. These are like some of my favorite kind of episodes where, like, uh, we we knew that we'd hit it off, but not based on anything. <laughs> like we haven't had a lot of rapport, <laughs> you know. We're just hoping. But as soon as the first five seconds of off stream time happen, I'm like, oh, we're gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah, totally. yeah, yeah. And totally. then we start talking about deep shit that wasn't on the schedule. And that's why we're doing this. Hell yeah. You yeah, know, it's good. I, uh, yeah, I, like I was telling you, like, as I was waiting, you know what I mean? As soon as I logged on, I was like, oh yeah, these guys are strangers. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. My parents told me not to do this. And I'm doing the exact thing on the internet <laughs> that they told me, hey, if you do anything, just don't do this. Yeah. I was yeah, literally just, don't... just watching a dateline about the dangers of talking to strangers on the internet, but they don't mean like this. <laughs> Yeah, they this don't is need face to face. Nobody knew this was gonna happen. Yeah, no, you guys don't know. You guys don't know that I'm actually like deep faked, like crazy. This is not wow. at all. What I, I'm actually like a 42 year old uh, woman. Listen, I did guess Kansas 42 City. at one point. Okay, <laughs> 44. <laughs> I remember. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Wrong. And John says, "Congratulations again on the shirt win. It was well deserved." Thank you very much. Appreciate and it. And if you want to pick up your very own shirt, we're gonna be adding that great design on a lot of things oh you already got it thanks t got um, you You can grab your own shirt and that's going to be available all year long and a good portion of the profits the, the little bit of profit will make it <laughs> <laughs> most of which will go to support bird suck correct yes yeah. i really so wanted to make a shirt that would be yeah like it was like i like i said i've done a few of these a contest and where i always fell short was making uh, a design that you would wear 
<laughs> the marketability you know? that is what makes it really stand out. It's yeah. obviously not disrespecting anybody else that contributed to the the contest. No, uh, it was one of those things. Like, and that's yeah, really yeah. what made the difference was exactly it's something you want to wear because even if you don't have context for it and people saw like it's a dope design they would just pick it up because it's cool and they want to wear it and there's so many things to ask questions about mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a conversation starter mine's in the mail <laughs> did you mine's did you in your... my box until i get paid uh i haven't uh i haven't received any uh shipping information or anything like that okay we'll but... talk we'll talk after stream sure I thought, I thought I sent you one. Um, if you have, I just haven't received it yet. No, they're taking a long time. Uh, it took me a hot minute to get my last yeah, order. This, so. That's just the way everything is these days. Everything is super slow. Okay. Okay. I'll just double check on that. But anyway, um, we have a way of signing off on this stream. We never tell anybody until right now. <laughs> Would be smart, but we don't. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to go around and say our names. Like I'm Bozer interchanging you with you. And then we'll say, and you just keep and you say geeking out. Okay. okay. But we all like say it at the same time. It's not just to yeah. line up over the chat. I feel like there's gonna be no latency issues and we're just gonna hit it for a <laughs> try. Nine. I think that's how it Nine. normally works. The Nine. vibes are there. Who so, who we raiding? I'm 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 working on it. Thank we're you, Pop. Nimka Catherine. Perfect. Bet she's playing Dragon Flight. Uh, that came I, out today for you wow nerds she is actually <laughs> uh but uh, but but if you enjoyed tonight's geek out sesh make sure you tune in again next monday for a brand new geek out sesh with uh, actually we're gonna play a dragon ball z drinking game with a friend of mine oh let's go so i need alcohol for next week got it yes and what do we do on wednesday t uh i'm reacting to things that our community sends us <laughs> live on the internet <laughs> Without viewing them first, so we'll see that. We'll see if we're here on Thursday for another episode of City of Mist. <laughs> We've got a, a huge one coming. And you guys, T is killing this campaign in the best way. Like, what I thought was going to be a run-of-the-mill mystery and we'll do a new case every week is, of course, world-ending every fucking week. <laughs> and It's not every week. It's only happened twice. <laughs> In a matter of a month. In so, 17 episodes. That's good math. It is. So tune in for that or watch it back on YouTube and podcasts. And for those tuning in right now on YouTube or podcasts, thank you. We love you. Tell somebody about 4 Geeks by Geeks. That would be great. It helps those that need a place to geek out find one. And that's why we are here. And, and when we hit 500 followers, Bozer and I will be in a hot tub. Naked. <laughs> You just won't see I mean, that. I'm not opposed to that personally, but wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> but until next time, I am Bozer. I'm T. I'm Austin. And you just keep geeking, geeking out. out. Nice. <laughs> Nailed it. Bye. Bye.